What's going on, people? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully, you guys are all doing well. Hopefully, you guys had yourself an amazing day today. We had ourselves some earnings come out, and I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is not going to be a normal video. I really want to break down what's happening right now because, you know, at a point in time, where we're starting to see the highs, you know, really slow down in volume, and the daily candles start to give a very distributive kind of look in the market, meaning it looks like there's more selling going on from big money than buying. You have earnings like this. That can be a coin flip. You never really know what's going to happen here. But on days like today, they're very important to witness this because we are currently seeing in the after hours all time highs happening from several different points in the market. All right now, I'm gonna break this down. I do want to listen to an interview and breaking down the fact that Meta now has a new dividend that they're giving out, and they've avoided that for a long period of time. But that's how cash heavy they are right now that they can start they can start giving it back. All right, so if you haven't yet, of course, guys, smash the like button, engage with the video if you guys would like more information on trading, guys. I do have a trading community. The link is in the description below. Jump in there to trade with us live every single day. We are live again tomorrow. Today, we did make successful trades with uh, Microsoft, successful trades with Rumble. We did not play earnings. I did not play earnings. Some people did. But the only earnings that I did want to play were from Meta. I was watching them. We had a few people who took Meta calls. They were a little red at close. They look to open up very green if this holds. We'll see how that goes. So, link in the description below, guys. Let's break this down. Right now, Meta currently up 14.9% in the after hours. Not only did Meta report earnings, but also Amazon as well. 8.5% in the after hours. Apple, 1.58% in the after hours in the red because they did miss in regards to their China sales. We kind of saw this coming. They had a few you know, poor reports coming out earlier, but that being said, still decent. And then we have the overall S&P 500, the SPY, currently up and flagging right now, up $2.80 in the after hours, 0.5%. This is one of the biggest after hours reactions I've seen from the SPY in a long period of time. So let's break this down, guys. Quick reminder, if you guys have not yet, smash the like button, engage the video. Here we go. Mike Santoli, it's been a while since we heard from you, so I got to go to you yeah. on this, particularly when it comes to the dividend here. Yes, the numbers overall are good, but, you know, uh, we've got Meta well above 400 a share. I know it peaked above there a few days ago, but it had been in the dumps for a long time because of how much they were spending in part on uh, on the metaverse and the fact that there were all these questions about whether the business model was broken what does this mean for this kind of tech company that traditionally has shied away from a dividend though we know apple did it years and years ago to, yeah. to express this kind of confidence in cash flow and this sort of i don't know maturity yes i see all of that applies john pretty assertive statement that look there's enough to go around um you know there's enough to go around is in this environment, in this economy, there's enough to go around is insane right now. They are cash flushed. And also, you know, as we do head towards uh, the back half of the year, this is interesting. It's very, because a lot of these companies could be cash heavy. Just in, as of September 30th, earnings for this quarter were supposed to be 483. They came in at 533. That was only four months ago. You got to keep in mind the momentum in the underlying business. They are making gestures of capital discipline, of shareholder friendliness. Uh, they seem to have obviously taken to heart the criticism that they were being profligate and spending big. Very much, I think, setting themselves apart from Alphabet, which has not paid a dividend after a longer history as a public company. And they're kind of happily having these loss leader businesses on the side. So obviously, Google's an amazing business. Uh, Matt is trying to maybe, uh, you know, be a little bit distinct from that. There was a time when Microsoft initiated its dividend. There was a time when people say, oh, that's it. The growth years are over. We can't, you know, you, this is not, uh, this is now a cash cow business. Clearly, that's been proven in hindsight to be false, as Apple has proven that false. So uh, it's interesting. It's about a $2 annual rate of dividends, so about a half a percent on the stock price right now, but it's a start. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot, Dan Ives, to, to like about this report. A lot of beats across the board, with the exception, perhaps, of Reality Labs losses being a little bit bigger than expected. But, I mean, headcount, we were talking about uh, the cost controls at Meta, and it really sent the stock higher last year. There was an expectation that maybe, perhaps, their spending was going to increase in 2024 as they continue to invest in AI. The fact that they're holding that, that estimate, 94 to $99 billion, steady with previous estimates, and that their head counts down 22% year over year, tells us what. It's a turnaround for the ages. I mean, the comeback kid Zuckerberg, I mean, go back. Comeback kid Zuckerberg. Okay, guys, this is insane right now. Not just that. I just looked at Microsoft right now because I'm doing this in real time. Typically, I have more of a game plan as I go into these different videos, but this is such a shocking video. I'm just kind of shooting it raw. No jokes, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. No jokes necessary. But, you know, Microsoft right now is currently up $3.82 in the after hours. The Qs, 
are currently up 1.3 percent of the after hours this is an exciting time in the market this is an opportunity to witness something that we've literally never seen before we've seen all-time highs happen considerably over the last few weeks here over and over and over again now, i'm not gonna say we haven't seen that before that process but we just haven't seen this price range we haven't seen this reaction we haven't seen the move that we saw in 2022 the recovery that we saw in 2023 and the potential full sending we we're seeing here at the beginning of 2024 play out now that being said this does not mean that we cannot see some downside tomorrow this does not mean that all these gaps cannot be filled at some point in time tomorrow but what this does mean is it's a very interesting end of the week tomorrow as we also do have non-farm payrolls first and first in the morning let's keep this going a year and a half ago and now you're doing a dividend subscriber growth digital advertising i think you've seen a narrative here we saw it from alphabet Saw Amazon here, digital advertising, unless you have a telescope, hard to find the recession. And I think this is going to be super bullish across the board. Unless you have a telescope, it is hard to find the recession. This is a stock that could have a five in front of it. Paul, what does this tell us about popular narratives? Uh, Dan just referenced it a year and a half ago. So many people were saying, oh, their business model is broken. You know, TikTok is going to eat their lunch, blah, blah, blah. We, we've, we've seen Apple go through these cycles where people were saying that kind of thing. Hey, maybe we're in another one now. What, what do you look at as an investor in these kinds of companies to determine whether the story really does still have legs? Well, I mean, it's just amazing what what all these different metrics they've reported. But Meta is a company that's taken AI and used it to its advantage big time on both the you know serving its users. Uh, last quarter, they mentioned that users were spending seven percent more time on. Instagram and 6% more on Facebook. And then they're also using it for their advertisers to get more effective ads served to those people who are spending more time on their apps. So, I mean, taking they've taken AI and they've really used it to their advantage and just shows some of these, you know, you have all these companies benefiting from spending, from selling products and selling the chips, but it, Meta's really taken AI and, and taken it to another level. Morgan got a bench on the stock meta now up more than 11 percent in move. overtime. But of course, things move around a lot in the call still to come. Call still to come. But to your point, this is a big move for this name uh, in the after hours right now. Victoria. Hold on. Just real clear. Meta right now is currently up 14.5 percent in the after hours. No longer 11 percent, 14.5 percent. And it is currently 524 p.m. So this thing is up significantly and remaining this high. Apple's also only down. Uh, 1% right now, the after average. After it looks like you're seeing a little bit of a double bomb here. They did have a huge miss there for China, roughly around 300 million, uh, or sorry, 3 billion in sales. That being said, several different tech names are up right now. Okay, guys. So that being said, I want to, you know, skip the last part of this video here and really head over here to take a look at a potential name to keep an eye out for tomorrow. Today, we did play, for those of you guys in the Discord, Rumble, because we thought that social media companies, potentially with earnings coming up with other social media companies, might get a little bit of a boost. They also could have a very, you know, good looking out. Um, outlook, seeing as there is going to be election coming up at, at the end of the year, and a lot of spending could be going that direction. So we're looking at Rumble, looking at Snapchat, looking at Facebook, and this is Snapchat right now flagging out on the weekly and up five percent of the after hours simply because of the fact that five point five percent because Meta is up, and as a sympathy move, it is also up. So if we do see uh, Snap break above that seventeen dollar level here, I think we have an opportunity for some more upside here, significantly more upside here. Uh, over the next, over the next little while here. So guys, that's a play for you guys to watch. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, of course, smash the like button, engage with the video. If you want more information on trading, guys, link in the description below with the Bay Street Bulls. We are there every single day. We'll be live again tomorrow. Um, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. All right, much love. See you soon.